Hello there. It's me again. I'm just reporting to my men. I am here in the Philippines and my man flew already. And I wish he was here to eat more fish just like this. I have three kinds of fish here and like this. This is again the farm lady. <laughs> this one here. And um, I clean this like this. I clean it like this. Like like the thing that I showed the first time my man was here and he ate all these farm ladies. Dalagang bukit in Tagalog or in Filipino. So now I took all the guts and then I will clean it like this. And uh, before I put the salt, I will have to cut it. Uh, is my orange knife like this? Cut a little bit like this. And later on, I will put the salt, or pepper, and so on here, in in the stomach or belly. It will it will be tasting a lot better. So the other fish is galunggong. Gigi, for sure. The Gigi. This is galunggong for Filipinos. No talk to English. Galunggong. Galunggong. Gigi. Okay. This is galunggong. I will put them nicely here so that <laughs> you can all see. I will also uh, clean it like this. Pull the guts out. This is the gut. Eee, another monster. So I'll put the, all the pituka here, the guts there. <laughs> and the rats will eat those. No, <laughs> no, no rats. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you honestly, I haven't uh, combed my hair yet because before I was able to do that, my sister brought the fish here and I had to clean them all before they get back. So this is the galunggong for Gigi. Clean. I will do the same method, just like the, the farm lady here. The and again, mm. I will cut it like this for later to put the spices there. I can uh, make, I can fry it or I can um, uh, cook it, steam it with uh, ginger, with uh, green mango or tamarind to make the, the juice uh, sour. That is my man's favorite dish when it comes to fish. So, the other type of fish is, this is kind of mackerel or so. We call it uh, tamban. tamban. Yeah, so I will clean it just like the others. Take the anubere, like this at my end. Yung hasang. This is the hasang. I don't know how you call the hasang in English. This is, where I mean, the head. Or so, but you know, um, this is not for Filipinos. What I will go, uh, I am going to say, we eat the head, the ulo in Tagalog. We eat the ulo. Uh, Karen eats also the ulo if it's crunchy. And um, yeah, this whole fish here, we would fry the whole piece, a little crunchy, and uh, we will eat also everything. No. The, the bones, anything, and we love we love it if it's fried because it's a lot of bones in here. So maybe I will cut it the same way, like this, even though they are very little. So that's the story about the fish that I'm going to clean today and cook. Okay, we'll take a short break. And again, tapos na ako maglinis ng is that which means uh, I am finished cleaning the fish and the fish really look like um, too much but we are not going to eat them all uh, today 
here in our town even though we don't have a lockdown my uh, my place is not it doesn't belong to the lockdown series here but people are having a very serious panic uh, panic buying so my sister bought a lot because she was so scared to get hungry during the next uh, few days so here is the fish that is finished for cooking here these are the fish that we will eat today we will cook it or them uh, like i said before you know, with mango green mango i will uh, peel them and cut into the uh, very small pieces with, together with this pepperoni and this ginger so we will cook them and this the other fish the uh, uh, farm, the farm, ladies. farm ladies or or the lagang bukid and the mackerel we will put them in the freezer uh, for the next few days because of the coronavirus lockdown this is what we will eat like maybe three or four days so it's a, uh, we have another fish here <laughs> i almost speak in german i'm sorry so here is another type of uh, well it's not another type of fish this is the small version of this one this is fresh and this is these smoked. are these are smoked these galunggong are smoked and we can eat it just like this or fry a little bit or cook them uh, together with, with um, vegetables so there are some vegetables there from my god children uh, Fresh. They, they harvested them from the farm from their kumana and they were here the other day uh, and brought this with these are the red onions they are really fresh I just cut the, the green leaves and uh, we eat it just with a little fry and then uh, we, we, we fry a little bit and then we eat with rice and then uh, the other vegetables the calabasa or squash this kamatis, calabasa, sibuyas, chili. So, and later on I will show how to cook the galunggo. Filipinos know that. Okay, bye bye for now. Okay. okay. Hello again. I am still in the kitchen trying to get ready or uh, do everything before I take my shower. And since I'm not finished cooking, I uh, just want to show this. This is the galunggong being cooked. Let us see how it goes. So, oh, it's very hot. The galunggong fish is now cooking in little slices of green mango this is very sour it gives a very good taste in this fish and uh, the juice mm. I feel very hungry now It will take a little to get it done. I will just steam it like 20 minutes. Okay. And I think I have to go get some drink. Bye bye, dear.